Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From strange underwater sea creatures to mythological beasts we aren't sure actually exist, here are 10 of the most mysterious creatures spotted by satellite. Number 10. Ningen Mythical creatures of the Antarctic, Ningen are supposed gigantic humanoids said to have been spotted by research ships. Described as being human-shaped, they are sometimes seen with fins or a large mermaid-like tail instead of legs, but their bodies are mostly smooth, with only their eyes and mouths giving any feature to their faces. Sightings of the creatures came from crew members of ships who at first thought they were seeing a foreign submarine in the distance. As they got closer to the unknown object, they claimed that the shape was not man-made, and was instead some sort of aquatic creature that disappeared under the water. Like so many of these baffling creatures spotted on Google Earth, the Ningen are believed to be tied to urban legends told by people working on government whale research vessels. After a bunch of online chatter, a Japanese publication dedicated to studying paranormal phenomenon featured an article on the creatures. Speculation ramped up as the author of the article included screenshots from Google Earth of an unidentified creature in the Atlantic Ocean near the Namibian coast. With most sightings occurring at night and the government refusing to comment on these supposed smooth-skinned sea cryptids, questions surrounding the existence of the Ningen are still unanswered. Number 9. The Loch Ness Monster Just because you can't make the trip to Loch Ness in Scotland doesn't mean you can't catch a glimpse of one of the most famous lake monsters in the world. Thanks to a British man who was using Google Earth to search the site's satellite imagery, the legendary Loch Ness Monster has apparently been found. 1,500 years after the first recorded sighting of the monster in the lake near Inverness, Scotland, Jason Cook, a security guard from Nottingham, believes he has spotted the animal. Seen from the air, a large object resembling a sea creature is clearly visible either beneath or on the surface of the water. Even skeptics might be convinced after a researcher on the Loch Ness Project called the new images intriguing and said that they deserve more study. Still, some believe the image is more realistically explained as that of a boat which regularly tours the loch. The subject of continuing intrigue and debate, the Loch Ness Monster is mostly written off as a modern-day myth with people continuing to stage appearances, and with sightings seen as nothing more than wishful thinking. Still, whether reports are real or not, the phenomenon of the Loch Ness Monster has been alive and well for almost 80 years. First brought to the world's attention in 1933, a number of searches for the creature have been going on, using both sonar and underwater cameras in an attempt to find the elusive animal. For now, though, the supposed search for Nessie continues. Number 8. The Kraken Which story is easier to believe? The fact that a giant creature spotted on Google Earth could possibly be the mythical Kraken, or that it is a creature that is believed to have gone extinct 65 million years ago? Spotted swimming off the coast of Deception Island near Antarctica, a strange anomaly that looks strikingly similar to the mythical giant squid was spotted by conspiracy theorists. Stretching 100 feet from head to end, the creature is shown causing a massive disturbance in the ocean. Some even theorize that instead of the mythical creature, it could in fact be an extinct prehistoric animal known as a plesiosaur, a large extinct marine reptile that has a large broad flat body, long flexible neck, and a small head. So which do you believe? Is it the kraken or an extinct creature? Or do you know the real explanation? Number 7. Ancient Termite Mounds Though not some mythical creature, a strange phenomenon spotted on Google Earth gives insight into some strange 4,000-year-old structures that are so large they can be seen from space. Found in northeastern Brazil, they are one of the largest and strangest engineered structures on Earth, and they were built by termites. At first estimated at 90 million mounds and 2.4 cubic miles of soil, the mounds were first spotted in the 1980s when they amounted to the volume of 900 Great Pyramids of Giza. It took more research and further investigation, but now researchers believe they are upwards of 200 million pounds, representing 4,000 Great Pyramids in volume, and occupying an area the same size as the Great Barrier Reef. The question, though, is how did these mounds get there? The mounds actually consist of soil displaced from a massive network of underground tunnels, allowing the termites to get to their food source of fallen leaves. With samples revealing the mounds were filled between 690 to almost 4,000 years ago, they are in fact the world's oldest known termite mounds. Number 6. Corfu Island Creature This strange, smooth-skinned image of an underwater creature in Corfu, Greece has stumped tourists and cryptid hunters alike. 
While this wasn't found via Google Earth, I thought it was weird enough to tell you about it. While on a boat cruise, a man named Harvey Robertson was snapping photos inside a cave when something strange from the deep came to the surface. The bizarre sea creature was spotted in a small cave 20 miles south of Albania. With a long snout and strange eyes, the animal is completely unrecognizable. Some say it could be some mutant dolphin, and even though long-snouted dolphins do exist, they are not normally found near Greece. The two nostrils, though, are not common to that species of dolphin. So far unidentified, even experts have no idea what kind of creature this could be. For now, various theories, from a porpoise with a birth defect to some modern-day creature from Greek mythology, continue to be some of the theories floated for the origin of this weird animal that made it into one man's holiday photo album. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below! Number 5. Bigfoot one of the most elusive creatures in the cryptid world, sightings of Bigfoot have been reported throughout the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and even across North America. But the question of whether the legendary Sasquatch is real was stoked again when a video posted on YouTube showed shots taken from Google Earth of a mysterious dark shape lurking next to the Trans-Canada Highway in British Columbia. Although only seen from one angle, the video shows a number of screen grabs of a shadowy creature emerging between the trees next to the National Highway. Although some believe it could be a burned-out tree stump, others are convinced the hairy, upright, walking, ape-like creature is in fact real and can be found in the images. Described as a large creature covered in dark reddish or dark brown hair and standing from 6 to 9 feet tall, stories of Bigfoot have been around long before the creature was given the name. Various indigenous groups told stories of a nocturnal creature, with some talking about a race of cannibalistic wild man that lived in the Pacific Northwest. With one-third of all claims of Bigfoot sightings coming out of this area, explanations range everywhere from hoaxes to the misidentification of black bears as being the source of Bigfoot sightings. One look at the Bigfoot Report's extension to Google Earth shows a widespread variety of sightings with the concentration not only in the Pacific Northwest on the West Coast itself, but spread throughout the Midwest and Southern East Coast of the United States. For now, though, sightings of Bigfoot or Sasquatch continue to be as shrouded and as much mystery as the creature's origins. Number 4. Tardigrades While these critters weren't found by a satellite, they were actually on a satellite. Tardigrades are tiny animals, about one millimeter long, that look kind of like a cross between a teddy bear and a caterpillar. A team of Japanese scientists in Antarctica came upon some moss with these creatures on it, so they froze them in a freezer at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. This was in 1983. Everyone forgot about them until 2014, when someone discovered the frozen baggies and thawed them out. They came back to life with no problem. Since then, scientists have exposed them to the most extreme conditions, trying to see how long a tardigrade can survive. They can live in violent heat, dry climates, freezing conditions, with and without water for decades, you name it. The BBC reports that in 2007, thousands of tardigrades were attached to a satellite and blasted into space. After the satellite returned to Earth, scientists examined them and found many had even survived, and on top of that laid eggs. While it is an odd-looking creature, it also deserves the title of the toughest animal on Earth. What do you think? Number 3. Maori Dragon Off the coast of New Zealand, a mysterious lake creature was spotted by an engineer who was using Google Earth to research for an upcoming holiday. A large, unexplained wake was discovered by Pita Witahira in Oki Bay, an area on the east coast of New Zealand's North Island. A long swirl spotted in the bay is believed to have been left by a creature measuring almost 40 feet in length. But is this creature real or just an anomaly in the water? In native Maori tradition, the creature known as a taniwa is a supernatural creature that lurks in watery dens and caves. They are often depicted as dragons or serpents with long, lashing tails. Resembling giant lizards and sometimes having wings, these reptile-like sea creatures could even change their shape and often took the shape of sharks or whales. This line in the water was too wide to be a shark and much too long. It was moving too fast and turning too sharply to be a whale. Witahira contacted Google Earth, but received a reply saying that the company doesn't speculate on what anomalies in the photos might be. However, the person who replied said it might be the wake of a boat. Witahira disagrees, saying there is no white foam that would have been churned up by a motor. The fact that the bay is mostly shallow for around 40 meters and then has a sudden deep drop is further evidence that such a creature could exist. But we'll probably never know. There are many mysteries in the deep sea. What do you think it was? Let me know in the comments below! Number 2. Merseyside Shark 
Another unexpected find on Google Earth came about when a web surfer in England spotted a huge animal lurking near a dock in Merseyside, England. Larger than some of the boats nearby, the object could possibly be a basking shark, according to a local marine biologist. It isn't unheard of that such a shark, which can grow to up to 35 feet, could be spotted in the area. In 2006, a seven-ton whale ended up in the Thames. The 16-foot-long animal ended up getting lost and wandering away from her normal habitat around the far northern coast of Ireland and Scotland. The first time the species had been seen in the Thames since 1913, sadly the whale later died. So does that mean a shark in the river could still be plausible? Described by onlookers as a sea creature with a curved body and pointed snout, the fish-like creature had pectoral fins on either side of its body. Located near Liverpool, the huge animal dubbed the Merseyside Jaws is speculated to possibly be an old shark that was looking for a place to die. But if you simply want to chalk this up to being another tall fish tale, you might want to look to the story of two first-time anglers who caught a shark in the River Mercy in 2008. Fishing for the first time in New Brighton, the two women, using mackerel as bait, found something fierce on the end of their line. When they pulled it out, they realized it was a baby shark with its distinctive dorsal fin and razor-sharp teeth. After snapping a photo of the animal, they threw it back into the river. With more than 20 species of shark native to Britain, ranging in size from just over 1 foot to 40 feet, it's quite possible that Merseyside Jaws is in fact real. Number 1. Canada's Loch Ness Monster The Ogopogo is a lake monster reported to live in Canada in the Okanagan Lake. This image, spotted on Google Earth, is said to be the outline of the serpent found near Mission Creek. Legend goes that it was spotted by two brothers who were out for a picnic with their families. The long-bodied creature breached the surface of the water, showing off its 50-foot length. But this is not the first time a similar creature had been spotted swimming in Lake Okanagan. In 2018, there were a number of reports of creature sightings. Even though local indigenous groups have told stories about such creatures for decades, locals are now starting to believe those stories could, in fact, be true. A local legend hunter who runs a website dedicated to the legend of Ogopogo believes it could be one of many snake-like creatures, or its offspring, who became trapped there back when the lake was open to the ocean eons ago. Similar to the Loch Ness Monster, Ogopogo is described as having multiple humps and a head resembling a snake. Difficult to capture, as the animal seems to come and go at will, one can only wonder whether the legends are true, and this prehistoric creature still lurks on Canada's west coast. Thanks for watching! Which animal was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later!